welcome to the Hallmarkies podcast. And we're so excited that you joined us today. I'm your host today, Carrie, and with me is Anne. Hey, everybody. And Caroline. Hey, y'all. <laughs> and we're really excited to be recapping the new year, new movies, the five first five Hallmark original movies that have premiered in 2021. And yeah, it, it'll be a good, it'll be good. I think it was a really good first five, mm -hmm. but I do want us to take a moment of silence for the season formerly known as Winterfest. That mm -hmm. was super sad to me. What did you guys think about the name change of this season's movies? I, I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, I was shocked. I thought Winterfest is so cute. And honestly, I'm still calling it Winterfest to myself. <laughs> and when I talk to my mom, so I am not doing well. <laughs> right, you're not adjusting to the change. No. no. It's so hard to, it's so hard to say like new year, new movie. Like it doesn't, it doesn't sound normal. And yeah. like when you're tweeting and stuff, it's like Winterfest is so much easier to yeah. type out than new year, new movie. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't roll off the tongue. It's not. Mm -mm. Easy. I, I I totally thought the same thing. It was an unfortunate name change. Like Winterfest had this pep and this pop, and you're ready. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> but, I know. Not this one, but that's okay. This is what it is for now. I don't know if they're gonna keep it. Do we even know why it was changed? I really don't, I don't know. know. I mean, because like, especially because all these w movies really seemed like winter festy. Uh -huh. So I'm like, there's not like they put in something that's like outside of that scope. So I really don't know why they changed it. No. Do you think there's any speculation as far as like put 2020 behind us? Let's just change the. Mm. I mean, that that crossed my mind when I first heard the name. I'm like, OK, maybe they're trying to, you know, like everyone's re ready to get rid of 2020. Maybe yes. that's part of this. That was the only thing mm -hmm. that kind of crossed my mind for a second. So possibly. Mm -hmm. New year, <laughs> new movies. Let's put it behind us and let's let's look ahead, I guess. But Winterfest, it's, it will always be Winterfest in our hearts and hopefully <laughs> in next year as well. <laughs> I'm hoping. <laughs> but okay, five movies we have. So we're going to, let's talk about them in the order that they were released. The weekend right after we have Christmas over a weekend and then right away here, we are watching Taking a Shot at Love. So Taking a Shot at Love is starring Alexa Penavega and Luke McFarlane as Jenna and Ryan. And it's written by Laura Grant and Julie Sherman Wolf, who we love, directed by Kevin Fair. And I'm not gonna give the full recap, just kind of a little recap. I'm assuming most of our listeners have watched with us, but maybe some don't. And maybe some listen to get, you know, the uh, which one should I watch, you know, type of, mm -hmm. type of info. So Taking a Shot at Love is the story of an injured professional hockey player who follows an unconventional rehabilitation plan in a ballet studio. <laughs> Caroline, what did you think of this movie? I thought it was very cute, like original. And um, I love Alexa, like um, Spy Kids days. Like I just, I just love her. And, uh, and I, I love Luke. So I just thought it was really cute. And Julie is one of my favorite writers. So I'm like, it had to be good, so. Anne, what about you? Um, I really like this one. It was my favorite of these of the new year, new movies. Um, <laughs> I just thought the idea was so fun. I thought it was written really well. I mean, it was written so well and I liked it so much that I wished it would have had like one of my favorite leading men or just someone that probably had better chemistry with Alexa because I felt like that was the only area that mm -hmm. it was lacking was chemistry. Everything else was great. Mm -hmm. um, the setting, it was fun, the dialogue. I mean, it was just a very fun, fresh, great, great movie to start off with. I can see why they started with this one instead of a New Year's resolution, which would seem like it would go first. Mm -hmm. um, but this movie was just really fun. Yeah, you know, I, I had that thought too, because I, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure her house in the movie even still had like white lights on it you know it white lights yeah, on it it was I a think little it did. decorated still not Christmassy, but yeah white. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. And so it kind of transitioned out of Christmas really well for me, where mm-hmm. it wasn't the stark, everything's cleaned up, Christmas is over. It still kind of had that sparkle and that fun. As cozy feel, I, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah the festival was like very Christmassy, it felt mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. That's right, the festival. I kind of forgot about that. But, um, I, you know, I loved this one, actually, too. I agree with you in that it was my favorite of the five. Mm-hmm. Me too. Biden was so great. I mean, she was funny and he was funny. Yeah. And I don't know, their scenes together, I thought were really kind of sharp and, and, and witty. So that was a really fun part of this movie for me, the writing. Definitely. And the dance seeing Luke try to like do ballet just it was just so cute oh my god I need more of that and maybe seeing the more of the guys tried this it was so cute and and that was one of the parts where I I was like Luke is really good at this and I can't see another guy pulling this off I didn't think his chemistry with Alexa was great but when he was doing the dancing stuff I was like I don't know if there's a lot of other Hall Star guys that could pull that off I thought he did a great job with that part Mm -hmm. it was really good he did that was, and it was so cute too, how he, you know, built a relationship with the kids and the yeah. Kids. Mm-hmm. It was like that was made sweet. it cool for them <laughs> to be in ballet because he was this pro hockey player. That was that was sweet too. Mm-hmm. Really mm-hmm. entered her life that way. So, okay, a couple scenes I I want to bring up and tell me if they kind of impacted you too. But the power outage scene. Yes. Yeah. That, that was cute. Really I love fun. that. Yeah, like something that really happens, but then like make it fun. And people really do, you know, put out candles, play games generally, you know. And so I thought that was fun, fun yeah. little twist. It I made me, that. it Go made ahead. me laugh because they talked about like the storm snacks and stuff. Yeah. And like I'm in the South, so we have hurricanes. And so we have hurricane snacks. <laughs> and um, so it just made me laugh when she bought up the snacks. I'm like, I get it. I'm like, because I'd have <laughs> snacks too. Right. That's That's funny. Funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When we have a blizzard run through here or um, a snow storm um, or even rain or high winds, like we do, we check on each other as neighbors and, um, you know, how are you? Do you need anything? And so I kind of, I just loved that they were very neighborly and, Mm -hmm. yeah that was so cute Mm -hmm. that was nice yeah so that was really fun so speaking of though what did you think of the supporting cast were they memorable to you I like both of them were very good like I liked them yeah they they, they had good friend chemistry it 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 worked for me yeah I felt believable and I liked that um they gave um, I don't remember his name, the, her friend's husband, they gave mm-hmm. him kind of the, the coaching arc and usually yeah. side characters don't get a lot. And I thought that was a nice little something to, to add. So that was good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that That's too. true. That's true. Well, that helped me kind of believe, like, I always want to ask myself, can I believe this future that they're proposing for us here at the mm, end? Of mm, yeah. Do I really believe that they're going to make it, you know? And um, I could see them doing that. You know, they have this mm-hmm. friend group around, they have the similar interests and they played mm-hmm. off each other well, even though they didn't have great chemistry. I, I agree with that, Anne. Mm-hmm. I thought it was sweet. Yeah. They, yes. They hugged a few times, which I didn't, you know, do, do you remember that? Yes. And they held hands like yeah. I think yes. once or twice. And I thought that was sweet because we don't always get to see that. I always love to see hand love, holding scenes. Me too. <laughs> that's it, was, sweet. it was totally, it was noticeable enough for me that, mm-hmm. oh, that's different. You don't see that usually between a Hallmark couple. And yeah, that was cute. That was very cute. Well, okay. So, Anne, what is your overall rating of taking a shot at love? Okay. My overall score is four crowns. Ooh. Ooh, good. Yeah, I, I really I really thought it was very a very good movie good Caroline mine is a little high, mine's 4.5 mm-hmm. I'd take a half a point for the chemistry but like this Luke is one of my favorites so I like I, ha- I have to I have to root for him so <laughs> you know I am totally right there with you guys 4.5 was my score as well this movie was pretty near perfect for me there wasn't exactly perfect but it was pretty near perfect with the the humor and the likable characters and the storyline 
the scenes. So 4.5 for me. So this was a winner. Mm -hmm. I agree. Very great movie to kick off the year with. Mm -hmm. So good. So strong. Mm -hmm. Good. (laughs) Okay. So that next weekend, we go right into a New Year's resolution. Amy Teagarden and Michael Reddy as Kelly and Tom, written by Sarah Montana and directed by Leslie. um, Oh, I might say this name wrong, but Leslie Demetiades. And I kind of feel funny, like Greg McBride in our award show. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry if I butcher your name, but I only know how to say my own name. (laughs) I loved when he said that. So sorry, Leslie. But um, this movie, I think, was scheduled to release last year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do we, you know why? Uh, it seems to be a mystery. It's like nobody knows why. I mean, I think Rachel asked Leslie and Kevin and it's like they didn't know why. And Michael Rady was like, he didn't know why. So it's just like this big mystery of like, why is this movie delayed? <laughs> they, knew, so they knew something was going to happen in 2020. <laughs> so they needed to have a, have a movie to go for the okay. next time. Well, it worked this year as well, I guess. I mean... <laughs> I thought, I guess you can play it anytime, but I was trying to see if I would notice a delay, you know, like a year delay, but um, yeah, I thought it worked okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the story follows Kelly as she has resolved to say yes to every social invitation she receives for a month. Mm-hmm. That's quite the New Year's resolution. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> so bold. Caroline, what did you think of this movie? I thought it was cute. Like, I right at the at the beginning I was like these movies are good like it's gonna be a great like season like um I thought it was like a fresh like a fresh movie like you don't see much about these and I I just thought it was cute and I just Amy was just adorable like once again the chemistry wasn't there for me Mm -hmm. so like that kind of hurt it a little bit but um I I love that she start said yes like to these things like and she wasn't like trying to hold herself back so I like that and what about you I I liked it I liked the idea of the movie I thought you know this is different and she was like doing all these things and all these activities because I think they said in the behind the scenes video like for this movie they had like 21 different locations which they were acting like is a huge deal and there was they were in a lot of different places so um that makes sense so that was kind of cool I did think that something about Amy T Garden's performance at moments something she felt kind of stiff to me and um I love Once Upon a Christmas Miracle it's one of my favorite Christmas movies and I like her from Friday Night Lights not her character but I thought that she does a good job in that show but I don't know something was a little stiff to me for her at some moments and then I didn't think the chemistry was the best but I loved Michael Rady in this movie I thought his character was great and fun and sweet um and I liked the stuff that they did so that's what made the movie really good to me was that those parts yeah. yeah yeah I I did too I liked I liked it enough where I would I would watch it again in a heartbeat and I almost bet that I would like it a, better a second time maybe yeah that's true I, the, yeah, I do that all the time sure. I'll, I'll watch movies twice before I like write my feelings down because especially like live tweeting and all that stuff like you, you miss a lot of stuff that's so, true so I always watch it twice before I give my opinion. <laughs> and especially like on a year delay, I feel like it was built up a lot. So that could have affected, you know, my viewing. It could have been affected by the buildup. So yeah. yeah. So a second time would probably be a good, mm-hmm. good, good thing. I think so. I, what I wanted, I found myself wanting more from this movie than we got. Actually. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I wanted more of an ensemble storyline you know Mm. to see some of these other um friends come in and join her and they did they really did try to do that but um even he had this group of friends at a restaurant that i thought was really interesting you know (laughs) like let's let's learn more about those guys too but um it was sweet to see her push herself challenge herself to to say yes 
to social invitations where she really, I don't know, did she just get in the groove of not saying yes? Or was she genuinely like too busy at work? Or I think I missed that part. I think she, I think, she just, I think her work was kind of busy. I think she just busy. wanted to be comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Both. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So all of a sudden she's pushing herself and she's getting out there. So, I mean, would you do the polar plunge? <laughs> um no (laughs) i think i have one of those here in chicago and i've never even wanted to try it (laughs) oh my gosh no i've been like in when i went in college there was a spring that was like an hour drive away and we went there a couple times and this is in like 90 degree weather when it's supposed to feel good and i'm still inching in like you know, every three minutes taking a step. So it's cold yes. outside too. Count me out. No way. <laughs> no. And then to wear a, a two piece in it. I'm like, I know. Get your wetsuit on. I couldn't believe they had her in a two piece. I'm like, they never show people at two pieces and she's wearing a two piece. <laughs> never. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> You're, right. You're right. One, it's Hallmark and she's in a two piece. That's enough of a shock. It was so <laughs> weird. She could have been covered up and like it would have gone with the event and the storyline. Exactly. So weird. It was like, this is like really uncalled for. (laughs) Her friend said like they were going to do the bikini like Yeah. So I get like, and then the friend backed out. Yeah. That's her heart. (laughs) Like, oh my gosh. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even put my toe in the cold water. Like I hate being cold. Like, yeah, cold and wet is like the worst thing you can yeah. be. <laughs> I don't want to get pneumonia. I think there's polar plunges where you like raise money to go and, and it's oh. for charity and stuff. But this one, I it just seemed like an event. Like a thing. Like yeah. For yeah. yeah, yeah, it did. <laughs> just to say you did it. But, okay, mm-hmm. so that was the craziest one I thought that that happened. I mean, yes. one thing that I did really like, I liked the ending a lot. That he, yes. he came out um, of his like big business thing and he was really standing for integrity in his big business and I don't know, came to her poetry reading or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the other thing she was doing and, and like professed his love publicly to her. And I thought that was really sweet and it redeemed a lot. Yeah. yes that ending was very good and it michael was. rady he's he's so good and charming and he's great he really is and sometimes we talk about here on the podcast leading men who can really they can have chemistry with just about anybody like they bring their a game and no matter what she's doing he like is so believable and yeah I really i might be so bold as to put him on that short list that we have mm-hmm. of- yeah yeah I think he deserves a place on that list. Yeah, I mean, thinking back with his other leading ladies, he's done great. And he's had, yeah. like, Nikki Deloche and stuff, you know. Mm. That's a mean, favorite, yeah. And he helped. <laughs> but he just did that Christmas movie with the violinist who's not an actress. Yeah, and they had good yeah. chemistry. They really did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They had great chemistry. So I don't know if I think they had so much chemistry in this movie as it, he just, he just was so charming. His, yeah, his performance mm-hmm. was so good. It really was. That was, he was like him and like all the stuff they were doing is like what really made the movie for me. So I was going to say like, if it was a different actor, I don't think I would have liked it as much. Like if it wasn't Michael. Yes. Like in it. Yeah. He had the star power here, I think. And mm-hmm. Yeah. He really brought it. Mm-hmm. He did. Good. So, and then what would you rate this movie? Okay, I said 3.25 crowns. Okay. <laughs> so I liked it, but you know, it's not four worthy or five worthy, but it's it's likable. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. What about you, Caroline? 3.75. Ooh, good. Because of Michael and I liked some of the stories, like, the stories made it fun for me. Like, it, it wasn't boring. Like yeah, it definitely like, yeah, it, it wasn't kept, boring. It, it kept me entertained. Like maybe not so much the chemistry, but it it kept me like watching the TV the whole time. So not mm. falling asleep, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a that's part of it. <laughs> we know I, that that does. So I'm right in the middle of you guys with three point five crowns. Okay. Uh, yep, just kind of a solid three point mm-hmm. five to me. Nothing. Um, 
horrible, nothing, nothing amazing, but I would, I did like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, okay, on to our third movie for New Year, new movies. This was Two for the Win. Two for the Win starring Charlotte Sullivan and Trevor Donovan as Kayla and Justin. Written by Nina Wyman, Andrea Canning, and it's based on the Sarah Morgan novel, Sleigh Bells in the Snow. So if you like to mm-hmm. read and watch, you know, take note of that. It's based on a novel and directed by Jerry Chikoridi. <laughs> Jerry, we love you. Um, so this, <laughs> this is a, about a local ski race champ who comes home in need of a new coach or possibly just a life change. Oh, but he meets he meets up with his old buddy Kayla. Yada yada yada. They live happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, Caroline, what did you think of this movie? I I loved the writing, but I I didn't like like I like it just wasn't my favorite. Like, there's no secret that like I, Trevor's very nice, but Trevor's not one of my favorite leading men, and. Uh, I think it would have helped more if it was like a more like Hallmark, per, like, you know, someone that I know as a leading lady to help with the movie. Right. Like, because it was a new girl. Yeah. yeah. Because it was a new girl, like, I wasn't as invested in it, well, watching it. So that I, I, I just didn't enjoy it as much. But the writing, I love the writing and the humor. It's yeah. just that I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I'm awful. <laughs> the performances weren't yeah, your favorite. <laughs> yeah, I'm awful. No. Bad person. Okay. Good. Well, Anne, what about you? Um, I really like this one. I I think it's definitely one of Trevor's better movies. Um, towards the definitely towards the top of his list. And um, I did know Charlotte because I saw her on Chicago Fire, so I was a little bit familiar with her. So that could have helped me too. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really fun. I think that maybe Trevor felt more comfortable because he skis and he's mm-hmm. used to that stuff. Um, cause he just seemed like, I don't know. I liked to enjoy his performance more mm-hmm. than some of his other movies. Um, and I thought it was a really sweet movie. Um, feel like we got more developed relationship than we usually get, which was really nice. Mm-hmm. And we got three kisses, that is the true. maximum amount of kisses three this is a big deal like I was like yes <laughs> I was so excited and we got I think and I love you too um so I just thought this movie was really sweet and that I really liked that and it was beautiful beautiful movie mm-hmm. um you know with the skiing and everything so I, I enjoyed it yeah that that was fun the three kisses I was I was surprised yeah <laughs> <laughs> that first kiss I, I just was like whoa what's happening this is too soon <laughs> and, then, and the second one was heartbreaking yeah that's, mm. I mean that's what I wrote in my notes and I'm kind of trying to remember why but the second kiss was heartbreaking and then the third kiss obviously that ending one was just wonderful but yeah so so funny now they're basing <laughs> their relationship on a friendship, a former friendship, not a former romance. So I agree with you in that the development of the romance, now that they come back into each other's lives, was really good, was really Yeah, they did it well. Mm -hmm. They did, they did. Okay, I don't wanna be negative about this movie because there's, (laughs) there's so many good and fun things. I just felt like two weeks after taking a shot at love, when you have a very Mm. similar storyline of an athlete trying to rehab or or having this unconventional coach in in a class with kids, like there were so many cute things but it was so similar mm, to me. Yeah, that's that true. It couldn't be appreciated yeah. as much because we had just seen, yeah. Because we might have been, seen, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, we'd just seen a big guy in a little class full of kids. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny when he was riding up the thing with them. That was that was, that was really cute. <laughs> he was just like <laughs> staying in there like, what? He's like, oh, I'm a professional here. But, um, she was enjoying it too much yeah 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 a little too similar so okay so that was just the first half and then the second half 
they really, you know, she's like, okay, get some rest. Okay, go. Now you can socialize. Okay, now, like, she's really trying to dictate mm-hmm. his life. Like, <laughs> yeah. As coach here, and that kind of bug- bugged me a little bit. But um, okay, so a couple funny scenes. What did you think of the line dancing? <laughs> I try. Like, it was, it was, it was cute. Like, I was like, go, Trevor. Oh, like, you got it. Go, buddy. <laughs> Oh, I just thought of something. This movie was really different because it was male focused. I thought that was really interesting. That really because even, really even when they open the movie, it's him on the couch, not her getting ready in her apartment. It's like focused on him. That was very different. And I, I was did, like, this is so that. weird. <laughs> I mean, it was fine. It was just, I definitely noticed it. Cause the first thing we see is him. He's at home. He's getting a call, I think. Or he's watching TV himself on TV. And I was yeah. like, this is a totally different thing. But I, I mean. That, just, I think you put words to, to the, what I was feeling. That's such a good way to put it. It was male focus. Cause even he's the one, I mean, she had her sister who was giving her advice, but he's the one who's really talking to his buddy and his mm-hmm. friends, like giving him advice. He's giving his friend advice to ask a girl out. And it was, yeah, it was definitely focused on. He was the main, the main character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, his, and his, parents his parents were more involved. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That was different. That was, mm-hmm. that was, and different enough for you to notice. That's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the line dancing was kind of fun, kind of random in a mm-hmm. Winterfest New Year <laughs> movie. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of random. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I thought they, they had fun with it. So it yeah, was like, yeah. okay. And I kind of liked the auction. The auction was, I yeah, mean, that was a cute. good sport in the auction. Yeah. Really raised a lot of good money, you know, from that lady who. Um, that lady. That was That was, that funny. was so funny. That was she was so <laughs> excited and she bid against herself. They're like, I you know, yeah. Do that. <laughs> you just cost yourself more money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be me, though, if it was like a, a, a cute guy standing up there and you're like I would bid against myself like that's that's what I would have thought. <laughs> she was so excited mm-hmm. that's awesome so Caroline what do you rate this movie then I still like enjoyed like the writing enough like so I'm gonna say 3.25 okay good and what about you I think this is going to be the flip reversal. I've been lower on both of the other ones than y'all. And I think I'm going to be higher on this one than you guys. We'll see. I said, I said four, um, four crowns, uh, those three kisses. And, um, I don't know. It just got to me. I just thought it was a sweet movie. And he just said like, all that was missing was you. I was just like, oh my gosh, that is so sweet. I'm just melting here. Like, oh, and you know, I guess maybe in my mind, like compared to Trevor's other movies, it's better. So that could um, have an effect, but I thought that was written well and that they did a good job with it. Yeah. Did you like their chemistry? I didn't ask you that. I did. I thought they had like a fun banter vibe, like when they were doing the banter and um, I I believe their chemistry. I thought it was good. That's good. That's cool. I love I love hearing your you know what you guys draw out of the movie and what you see in it because it helps me too but I had um 3.25 crowns as well Caroline Mm -hmm. I think I would have I might be giving it a quarter crown more for the benefit of the doubt like like I really like this writer I I do Mm -hmm. like actually I like him as an actor and I do think this was his strongest movie to date he was he was comfortable and um na- he seemed more natural than mm-hmm. he yeah usually does. um I I wish I I don't know I didn't like it as much as the other sport one and that really just yeah blocked, yeah it didn't mm-hmm. block me so 3.25 for me but um it was good it was good definitely definitely watch it when we have such mixed ratings <laughs> it's like it's good you know like some yeah. people really love it <laughs> I know mm-hmm. it just depends on different factors sometimes so exactly and when you watch it too like you could be in a really bad mood watching one of these movies and that's like, true that that feeling sticks with you while mm-hmm. you watch it again so yeah it just, it just yeah. depends that's so true okay. 
From the USA Today bestselling author of The Summer House, Jenny Hale, comes a story about finding lost loves, chasing dreams, and the people who show up when they're needed the most. The Memory Keeper is the perfect escape for fans of Susan Mallory, Debbie May Cumber, and Sheila Roberts. It's a heartwarming, sweet romance that will have you laughing, crying, and best of all, hugging those around you a little tighter. If you loved the Christmas movies based on Jenny's books and are looking for more feel-good small town romance, look no further. It's available now at all ebook retailers, Amazon, Kobo, Apple Books, and Barnes and Noble. You can sign up for all the latest updates with Jenny's books on her website. It's JennyHale.com. So we'll have all the links for that in the description. Make sure you check it out. It's a really fun romantic read. And moving on to A Winter Getaway. A Winter Getaway starring Nesneen Contractor and Brooks Darrell um, as Courtney and Joe. Written by S.W. Sessions and directed by Stephen R. Moore uh, Monroe. This is a case of mistaken identity when average Joe goes on a luxury vacation and falls for his tour guide. Well, not really, his concierge of a, from the luxury um, business. What did you guys think of this movie? Anne, let's start with you. Um, I love seeing two diverse leads. That makes me very happy. Um, this was the first Banff one. I got a little over Banffed. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> but this is the first Banff. So it's fresh. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's so stunning. My favorite part of the movie is seeing the scenery. And I'm like, I have to go to Banff because me this too. is oh like so picturesque. It, it's beautiful. <laughs> Jasmine, I love her. I think she does like a really great job. I love her energy. I think she's stunning and beautiful. And I just think she's really fun and a good person for these movies. And um, I liked Brooks too. And um, I just, I thought it was uh, a good movie. I kind of had a a different kind of conflict. Like it's not really usual. That's like, well, I mean, I guess it's still like you lied to me conflict. Right, right. Definitely the same and overused, (laughs) um, but not this kind of lie. Um, so yeah, um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was just stunning. And I thought, you know, the, the, the sled dogs thing, I definitely want, have always wanted to do that. So that was really fun for me to just see someone else do it. Yes. <laughs> and uh, the activities they did were fun. So mm-hmm. I liked it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Caroline? I, I loved it. Like I love the scenery and um, Brooks and Nazneen. They were very cute. Um, he was so funny like just I just loved his energy like when his character is just mm-hmm. very cute and um I it, it was just enjoyable I, I didn't fall asleep watching it so that's the plus <laughs> and I, I I was entertained the whole time so another plus <laughs> that's that's so good okay I think we all had pretty much those two main things like the scenery bamf the location how beautiful is that? I mean, oh my gosh, that was stunning. stunning. Yes, stunning. And obviously, we're seeing the high life here. You know, the um, yeah. this they're on the ski slope by themselves. They're not in the crowded line or anything. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're in these beautiful hotels and the market and everything. It was just really this travel love story to Banff. I thought, and um, I loved that. Brooks mm-hmm. Darrell, he was so good. I thought he was so good, and he was sarcastic which is funny. yeah you don't see a sarcastic leading man who's who's likable that way or who's not tyler hines <laughs> yes, yes, except tyler hines. which has a ve- which he has a very specific type of sarcasm it's kind of a different kind of sarcasm that tyler mm-hmm. does but yeah i thought that brooks did that well too yeah he was he was funny and he was he really played the normal joe really well i thought mm-hmm. you know, where you could see that she believed he was the rich guy Mm -hmm. all these he's not trying to be he's not really trying to put on airs he was just trying to yeah you know be himself except he was deceiving her (laughs) yeah the the food scenes were really funny to me like he was trying to eat the the fancy food yeah and like she came in and he was eating was it waffles or or french French toast toast. french toast yeah and um he, she was like I didn't he didn't eat the other stuff he, and <laughs> one French toast I'm like I would have done the same thing yeah me too I like mm-hmm. plain comfort foods I don't like yeah. fancy stuff no. mm-hmm. and then he <laughs> had the whole breakfast. table sit- yeah Especially. the whole table sitting together having that was sweet I like that. that was that was cute 
Yeah. I liked that a lot. That was so fun. So it was so big and so fantasy driven, you know, and even it was, it was just the two of them often, but they did make friends with that hotel staff, which I thought was kind of sweet. Yeah. yeah. That and at sweet. the beginning, her family was adorable. I, they were yes. so tight knit, so loving, so encouraging of her. And I almost, I wanted them to have play a bigger part. <laughs> Me too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would have liked that too. I really like that. And I loved like seeing like an Indian family, like in a Hallmark movie. I was like, this is like really special. It was like touching mm-hmm. me. I don't know. Just because it's like so abnormal. Like it was just like, this is really sweet. And I liked and that had- they showed them because they didn't have to, I guess. They could have just yeah. showed her mom on the phone. And, but they had a whole like family scene and that was nice. They did. And it was a cute little family. Like, they just, it was just warm. Like it just felt yeah. like a, like a good family to yeah Yeah. which which was cool because it played into later in the movie when she he asked her what her favorite vacation was you know growing up you've been so many places or not grown up but he said in your job you know you've been so many places you've done so many amazing things what has been your favorite vacation and then she describes this moment um with her family growing up where they I don't know if they get lost or something, but they end up in this motel. They pitch their tents in the hotel, in the motel room. They eat Chinese food on the floor and they just have a great time as a family. So having seen her family at the beginning of the movie and, you know, hearing that touching Mm -hmm. story, that was really, really cool. I thought. Yeah. Um, I I thought that story was sweet and then it matched with the ending and it was like, you could see her family in your mind with the tent, you know, because you had mm-hmm. seen them and then it was like the ending and I was like, oh, this is, this is really great. Mm-hmm. It's very that sweet. Was, so I thought, well, someone to do that for me. I know. It looks <laughs> so, it looks so cozy. Mm-hmm. Totally. And I had forgotten that we had seen that we had seen a promotional picture. The picture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that you got, you had sent to us and um, I forgot that. And so I wasn't even into. Oh, that's even better. I wish I would have forgot it. I was like, oh, it's coming. I was excited. <laughs> it was so good. So when, when she walks into the ballroom at the very end and he had set this up for her, recreating this awesome family memory, I was like, oh, he, mm-hmm. oh he's so great. I just loved it. <laughs> that, was, that was good for me. I liked that ending a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ending was very sweet. Mm-hmm. Well, I liked it because too, like, again, with my, my thing where I, I could see their future together. I could see them starting mm-hmm. this business, she yeah. had this travel thing. He could come in on the tech side of it. He even brought in a friend investor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, they this could- is believable. Like this could really happen work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So this was my, my last question before we write it. If you guys were they fortunate enough to have a generous friend send you on an all expenses paid vacation for your birthday? Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. Where would you want them to send you? Oh my gosh. Uh, you know what? I have always, always, you can blame the sisterhood, the traveling pants, Michael Rady. Um, there you go. Yeah, you can blame him. I've always, always wanted to go to Greece, like yeah. my whole life since I saw that movie. I was like, I have got to go see that water and those yes. beautiful white fit house things and like eat yes. real Greek food and go to a Greek market. And I don't know, I've always wanted to do that. So. That would be me in Greece, living it up. <laughs> <laughs> Great choice. What about you, Caroline? I was going to say Italy, like, because I, I love pasta. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, give me all the food because their food looks amazing. So I'm like, just Italy. Like, that's that's just a great food. choice. Mm-hmm. That's a great choice. I'm, I'm going to be un, uh, just uncreative here, but I really actually think this exact movie that they just showed us. I would choose this because I wouldn't choose this for my own vacation. That's true. You know? Yeah, like, that's true. I do want to go to Banff. You know, I think now that we've seen this, I, that would be awesome. But I'm not really, I'm not really going to choose the cold vacation, actually. That's very <laughs> true. Because somebody at my work was actually asking me about that. Like, 
like how come I never tried skiing I'm like well because I can't ski and that means I have to pay to go to a place to ski and I don't know how to ski so why am I gonna waste money waste money to go to a place to know something I don't know how to do so I'd only do it if someone else is paying for it so you're you're onto a good a good thing there exactly that's just so so what I was thinking I would be like where's the tube thing where you just sit down and that's get pushed do. because that's yeah. all I can do now the dog sledding I you would do probably and that yes would- oh I would love to do that I would eat the food yes give me the and food. the food and the views by the yeah. fire yeah. yeah by the fire looking at those beautiful views or that castle hotel it looks beautiful mm-hmm. so awesome so Anne what would you rate this movie I gave it a 3.5 crowns. Yes. So I, I enjoyed it. I would watch it again, um, mm-hmm. but it's not like super my favorite, but I, mm-hmm. I liked it a lot. Yeah. I was going to say 3.75 again. Like I, the, the Lee, like um, Brooks was like my favorite part. Like his excitement was, I, and Banff was like my favorite part. Yeah. So it was just, just fun for me. Fun. Well, I said 3.5 crowns as well. Um, I think this was, it was a unique storyline, I thought, and just really was able to showcase the this luxury vacation thing. And it was just like this Cinderella story for him. So I thought that was kind of cool, um, but 3.5 crowns for me. Okay, we are on our last movie. We just watched it. <laughs> last- <It's> very fresh. <laughs> <laughs> very fresh. It is Snow Kissed, starring Jen Lilly and Chris McNally as Kate and Noah. And it was written by question mark. I could not find the writer of this. Yeah, I couldn't either. I was like, I'm curious now that I watched it. I was like, I want to see who wrote it. And it's just not to be found. It's not to be found. Mystery. Yeah, it's a mystery. Not where I could. um, Hallmark movies and mysteries. (laughs) (laughs) We'll have to, we'll have to ask someone if we have an in but it was directed by Jeff Beasley who I know has um he's a Hallmark director and has directed some fun stuff before but um this movie takes us back to Banff but it is in the more affordable option (laughs) very true very true (laughs) instead of luxury hotels we have a B&B we have um you know take your own snowshoes on a trail um, we have a wait in line at, for the gondola and take you up to the, the mountain. So it's definitely the more affordable option. Still beautiful. Mm-hmm. Still, still fun. <laughs> but um, Caroline, what did you think of this movie? Once again, I love Banff. Like, mm-hmm. I want to go. Like, thanks, Hallmark, for making me want to spend money. Um, <laughs> I love Chris's character. Like, it was like a, a, new, a new character type for him. I, I like that. And I like the B and B and stuff, and like his little friend was cute, but like I just it just felt like okay, we just saw Bant, like and it and like we've seen the B and B story before, like it wasn't anything yeah. new, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I... And Jen's character, like Jen's character, not Jen the actress, was kind of kind of irking me a little bit at the beginning (laughs) I feel Mm (laughs) you but Jen was amazing she's a good actress because she played that character but it was a character that was kind of yeah yeah that's a tough one and what about you uh I'll start by saying this is one of those movies where you know I go Rachel you're right the writing (laughs) can really mess with a movie because it can have your favorite people and it can still not that they're my favorite favorite but they I really like them both a lot and it can still just fall fall splat because it's like this writing is just not super great and I also Jen's character I was like oh my gosh okay she's too anxious she keeps correcting him too much she was just too much for me Mm -hmm. um and then I felt like her friend was kind of like too I don't know she seemed like kind of I don't know just she was like too pushy Mm -hmm. I guess she wasn't pushing Simon but she just was coming on really strong and I was like okay okay, dial everybody just dial it back because she's like all the women in this movie dial it back (laughs) because she's like the single friend and like oh single man like 
Right. Yeah, she was just like, oh, she was like coming for him. I was yeah. like, whoa. <laughs> I'm not that desperate. Yeah. But so they were just a little too much. Mm-hmm. But Chris, I love Chris. Um, mm-hmm. He looks great. J- Jen he- Lily looked great. They played the characters that were written, like Caroline said. Mm-hmm. And um, Jen's character was just kind of a lot. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I thought it had some some cute moments, but I was out Banffed because I'm like, okay, we just saw Banff. Can we have a break from Banff? <laughs> Even though have, it's so beautiful, it's so amazing. If they would have started off with one in Banff. And yeah, and one we needed like Banff. some bu- bookend, yeah. Banff bookends. <laughs> yeah. That would have been good. That would have been good. We just needed so, some separation. Exactly. Okay, so I was, I also, I wanted to like this movie so bad. Me too. Yeah, me too. The build up was I wanted so- to love it. Mm-hmm. I wanted to. It, we saw so many like advertisements for it and, and fun stuff about it. I like Jen a lot. She's one of my favorites. But this, like you said, this character, I couldn't get behind her character. She was so worried all the time. Mm-hmm. And I was like, she was giving me anxiety. Her. Yeah, she was. I was like, okay. <laughs> but, and but yet he was just charmed by her. You know, he thought she was really sweet. And, and so that that kind of was cute. But, um, oh, I was going to say something else about, okay, so she and her friend come to Banff on a work trip. Mm -hmm. She's a writer. They're going to interview her favorite author who wrote this book that she loves. And then the friend is a photographer. And so that's why they're there. And they did just come on really strong to these two guys who were just trying to give them a good customer experience at their (laughs) B&B. (laughs) <laughs> they like latched on to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally latched onto them. Yeah. Oh, so, so that was funny. That was very funny. So that that's good. Did you did you find the ending believable? Did you like the that they both um, were trying to do these grand gestures for each other? Like, because they just like they just met each other, and like they're in different countries. You know what I mean? Because it was in Canada, yes. and she was in like America, right. and like I just don't know. Like they felt it felt more friendish to me. Like they felt more like friends than romantic people. You know, I, did, I didn't get the romance. No, so, like it wasn't believable. So I wouldn't leave. I wouldn't leave America for the B and B. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly exactly what about you Anne um it was I didn't totally buy uh the chemistry I think Jen's character she just got under my skin I was just like I just can you please it was hard for me to focus I'm like what's happening because she was just like over here just like so like anxious um but I, I really like them. I'll tell you my favorite scene is, because it's so beautiful, is the way you can laugh, is when they're by the fire and they're like on that porch, like with all those lights behind them. Oh, yeah. I was like, this is so beautiful. I was like, this is my favorite thing is looking at this because it looks so cozy and yeah. pretty. But that was my favorite thing. I just thought that was pretty. But um, I I don't know. And I didn't know if like, kind of like, um, like Rachel had, you know, talked about with us is like, I was like, is this really believable that it would be like, this difficult to be a tour guide but maybe it is it's like I mean I'm like I get super nervous in front of people like I can't give speeches in front of people or anything so yeah. but I wouldn't do be a tour guide because I can't do that because I have exactly. stage right so mm-hmm. I just was like I, I just don't know if like this whole storyline is like I I don't know if I'm buying it mm-hmm. so it, it was a little far-fetched to me too the the ending I I wanted uh I kind of just wanted them to say like six months later yeah. <laughs> and they've been keeping up over email and texting and FaceTime yeah and they had really developed a relationship but um I mean it was classic Hallmark to me I I liked it in the sense where I'm like oh they're both giving up you know the, their preference for each other and you know doing these grand gestures was kind of sweet I rewound this kiss probably three times not because the kiss was so hot. Like I, she steps up on a box. 
to kiss me. I thought she stepped up on something. Okay, okay. Or I, like, I believe it. Or like, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's so tall. Up. That was so funny. <laughs> I was like, did she really just step up? But he's so tall and she's so short that, yeah, he's, they stepped up. So another was- another thing that knocks my score down is like we see him try to chop wood, but we don't see him chop the that wood. Is really weird. And weird. I was like so excited. <laughs> I'm like wood chopping. <laughs> and I, I didn't get it. Like yeah. I was like, no, okay. that was not that was that does not count in Caroline's wood chopping. Okay, so no. Some people, some listeners may totally be familiar with you and the wood chopping obsession mm-hmm. you have and how you just started, you really love this wood chopping that happened yes. in When Calls the Heart. Mm-hmm. And other Hallmark movies, yes. And other Hallmark movies. Okay, so we all thought of you when we saw the scene. <laughs> oh, I know I did. Because I watched <laughs> it on Sun. I watched it on Sunday and you had said, they don't show him chop it. So as soon as I see the scene and all I see is the wood on the stump and then it goes up to him, I'm like, okay, I guess he's not going to do anything because Caroline said he doesn't actually chop anything. <laughs> he doesn't chop. And he doesn't. He does chop. It. He does it. He's just like, then he's like picking it up to take it inside. I'm like, wait, what? This isn't. <laughs> what? I don't count it. it this left much to be desired. Like we no. didn't get anything. <laughs> no, I've been disappointed in 2021 so far. No wood chopping. <laughs> Up hallmark. <laughs> so this scene literally knocked some points off of your final. It did because final? I was I was given hope that we would have wood chopping because he's a B and B owner. It's winter, like he was going to be like he's a owner, a B B owner, so like he's going to have to chop some wood. Yeah. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so do you have a final rating? 3.5. 3.5. Mm-hmm. What about you? It would have been 3.75. Oh, see. <laughs> Missed out. Missed the wood chopping <laughs> minus there. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just want to add one thing before I say my score. I really liked when Jin's character was looking so miserable when she was in Manhattan again. And it was like so loud and like... <laughs> It's so loud and it was bothering her and she was just like like felt like so I was like laughing I was like I guess because her character drove me so crazy then she was miserable and I was laughing because I'm just not a nice person but no, you are. I like that I thought it was funny um oh you totally you thought what, what was happening you understood what was happening yeah yeah her heart's in vamp now she was yeah she really- she was seeing how everyone else experiences Manhattan who goes there because it's like very overwhelming and loud and people are yeah. rude. <laughs> you know, and before you give your rating too, I want to say one other positive thing about Jen's character. She said one line that I just cracked up at and I wrote it down. She said, I thought this was the most relatable she was all movie. She said, I just talked to strangers for three hours. I am exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> That is very relatable. Yeah, mm-hmm. we've all been there. That is yeah. interesting. Oh my gosh, yeah. Especially for three hours. Wow, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. very draining. It's so draining. All, all right. right, and what is your final score? My score is three crowns. Good. Very, just right, just right in the middle because, I don't know, because it's not terrible. It's just, it's not good but it's not terrible it's just kind of like mm, yeah. you know so yeah because I like both of these people so I, I like them I love Jen I love Chris so yeah, yeah. I know and you just wish since we don't know the writer it's a little easier to say stuff like this but you do wish that they were given more yeah a better script to work yeah. with, to really yeah. explore kind of who they were together as a couple um because I don't know if we'll see them together again. You know, you just- yeah, exactly. Sometimes you only get one shot at that pairing, so it's yeah. it can be hard when you know if the if the writing wasn't that good or it's great. Um, there are times that I just don't get a Hallmark movie, and I'm <laughs> very very generous with Hallmark movies. I love them. I am very optimistic about them. I think they're amazing. But this one, I was like, I didn't get it. I didn't. It took me um. a while to realize 
oh, she's helping him with the tour because she's a writer. Like, I don't think I'm a dummy. I, I just, just like, wasn't, it just wasn't flowing. Yeah, I know what you, I, I totally know what you mean. Yeah, it wasn't really flowing very well. Yeah, no, just or part explaining of- itself well. So mm-hmm. for, for that reason, I guess I gave it 2.75 and that's one of my lowest scores. Like I, yeah. I just, I didn't like it very much. So yeah. sad to say maybe someone else will but um that's that's my score so uh, overall this was a pretty good start for hallmark channel original movies i thought yeah Mm -hmm. yeah i thought it was good yeah winterfest and i have a good have a good uh relationship so i'm (laughs) glad to continue on in the in the winterfest hope or winterfest hope i'm still calling it winterfest um so yeah you're still on that Christmas high so you're like okay January so happy and then like you got to keep the spirit up yeah didn't like uh Greg McBride last year say like Winterfest is you know what keeps our hearts going from breaking from not having Christmas movies or something Mm -hmm. it's like Mm -hmm. the it's like the bridge to like get us to like you know full of hope and beauty Mm -hmm. and just you know it's and it is it is that it's it's a perfect thing to bridge you into a new holiday Valentine's Day um but that way you're sad you don't have Christmas movies but you have beautiful winter movies so yeah and bamf In Banff. Banff is going to see a surge in uh, tourist. How did you hear about us? Hallmark movies. Okay. Right back to that. I'm surprised they didn't put some Banff commercials in there. Come to blah, blah, blah. Totally missed their chance. Yeah, some hotels or something. Definitely. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Banff. We love you. Oh, my we goodness. Do. Yes. Well, Everyone who has tuned in, thank you so much for being with us today. And we would love to hear what you think of these five movies. Uh, So let us know in the comments section of the YouTube channel if you're watching on YouTube. Um, Leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, Or if you're listening on iTunes, please leave your ratings and reviews. We really appreciate that as well. Um, Let us know what you thought, that would be awesome. Make sure you're following the podcast at Hallmarkies Pod or Hallmarkies Podcast all over social media. And we also have our patron group and we'd love for you to join that. We have so much fun in our patron group. Uh, We have a merch store with new merch coming out this month. So check out that. And uh, we appreciate all the support and all the encouragement and joining in on the Hallmark love. We appreciate that so much. Um, hey, where can people find you, Caroline, on social media? On Twitter at me to Caroline R. And what about you? Where can people find you? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at awscott21. Great. And yeah, go and find me on Instagram at Hallmark Comics. That's Hallmark underscore comics. I'd love to connect with you there. Um, Thanks so much, everyone. This was so much fun. And let's all tune in to the Love Ever After movies on Hallmark Channel and Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. And we'll just have so much fun talking about all those all month long. So thanks for joining. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.